Norman Manley International Airport IATA, KIN, ICAO, MKJP, formerly Palisados Airport, is an international airport serving Kingston, Jamaica and is located south of the island 19 km away from the center of New Kingston. It is the second busiest airport in the country after Sangster International Airport, recording 1,502,973 arriving passengers in 2015. There are over 130 international flights a week that depart from Norman Manley International Airport. Named in honor of Jamaican statesman Norman Manley, it is a hub for Caribbean Airlines and Fly Jamaica Airways. It is located on the Palisados Tombolo in outer Kingston Harbor. It fronts the city on one side and the Caribbean Sea. History Jamaica has always had a vibrant civil aviation industry with the first flight reported in the island on 21 December 1911. This is eight years after the world recorded its first powered flight by the Wright brothers. Nineteen years later, on 3 December 1930, the first commercial flight, a consolidated Commodore twin-engine flying boat operated by Pan American Airways which eventually became Pan American World Airways, landed in Kingston Harbor. The year 1934 was also another historic period for the nation's aviation industry when Dr. Albert Forsyth and Charles C. Anderson the godfathers of African-American aviation arrived in Jamaica from Cuba. This was the first time a land plane was arriving in the island by air. The significant growth in the aviation sector led to the establishment of the Civil Aviation Department in 1947. One year later, in 1948, the Kingston Air Traffic Control Center was established. In the same year the Palisados Airport now Norman Manley International and the Montego Bay Airport now Sangster International Airport were established. The airport was featured in the first James Bond film, Dr. No Renovation. <inaudible> 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 Topic existing terminal renovation The contract relating to additions and alterations to the departure concourse has been awarded to Keir Construction Limited and is valued at $161.5 million. The work will include construction of a new canopy, north of the existing check-in concourse and departure lounge, construction of an additional drop-off pavement area and provision for access by wheelchair passengers, new lifts, electrical air conditioning, public address, fire detection and fire fighting services, and alterations to the existing check-in concourse and mezzanine level to include a new security post and postal agency. The architect, engineer for the designs are Llewellyn Davies, Jabob's Consultancy and Leading Edge Aviation Planning Professionals Limited LEAPP, in conjunction with Peter Jervis and Associates Limited and Grace Ashley and Associates. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Master Plan. The project seeks to increase the airport's capacity to cater for projected air and passenger traffic at an acceptable level of service to the year 2023. The project is part of a 20-year master plan which will be implemented in three phases 1A, 1B and 2 and will cost about $130 million. By 2022 it will have involved a virtual reconstruction of the entire airport. The first phase of construction and renovation was completed in 2007. Construction started in June 2006. The intention is for the first phase, which is supposed to make the airport an IATA Category C airport, was completed in 2007. The European Investment Bank is providing $40 million 2006 project and the Caribbean Development Bank has approved a loan of $11 million June 2006 for the new project. Topic: Phase 1A Phase 1A commenced planning in 2004 and was completed in 2007, at an estimated cost of $80 million groundbreaking took place in September 2006. This phase comprises a new departures building at the eastern end of the present terminal to accommodate expansion to the present departure concourse, security screening station with space to accommodate explosives detection equipment, outgoing immigration, retail concessions and departure lounge. 
Additionally a new multi-level passenger finger pier that enables the separation of arriving and departing passengers, as required by security regulations, was included. Other items in this phase included Nine passenger loading bridges at the new finger pier. Upgraded roadway system and expanded public car park Major rehabilitation of the existing departures concourse and related underground services infrastructure Major rehabilitation and upgrading of the terminal arrivals area, including Immigration Hall, Customs Hall, Arrivals Arcade, Arrivals Duty-Free Shops and Offices Replacement and upgrading of airport systems, public address, access control, flight information, baggage information, security control and other airport IT systems Cargo warehouse complex The first phase of this complex, called the NMIA Cargo and Logistics Center, was completed in 2005. Phase 1B Phase 1B was completed in 2010 and costed approximately $23 million. Works under this phase included Further upgrading of existing buildings Construction of a new arrivals area Installation of new baggage handling facilities Movement of the General Aviation Center, the fire station and other support facilities Airside works including the expansion of aircraft parking stands Extension of the cargo and maintenance taxiway Topic. Phase 2 Phase 2, which is the final phase of the project, commenced in 2013 and is to end in 2022. This phase will involve additional improvement and maintenance works to the terminal, landside, airfield and support areas of the facility at a cost of $9 million. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Airlines and destinations. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Passenger Topic Cargo Topic Accidents and Incidents On the tenth of April nineteen fifty three, a Lockheed Lodestar piloted by Captain Owen Roberts lost an engine on takeoff, climbed to one hundred to two hundred feet, entering a slight banking turn, and crashed into the sea. The failure of the left engine which was proven to be due to the cracking of the accessory drive gear. Thirteen on board, including the pilot, were killed. There was only one known survivor. On 17 July 1960, the captain of a Vickers Viscount of Cubana de Aviation hijacked the aircraft on a flight from José Marti International Airport, Havana to Miami International Airport, Florida. The aircraft landed at Palisados Airport where the captain claimed political asylum. On the 22nd of December 2009, American Airlines Flight 331 overshot the runway shortly after 10 p.m. during a heavy rain storm and resulted in the Boeing 737-800 breaking up into three pieces and finally coming to a stop approximately 15 to 20 feet from the sea. It is reported that all passengers and crew exited the aircraft safely. See also. List of the busiest airports in the Caribbean